Offered. With so many high school seniors held back due to the pandemic, California lawmakers are pushing forward with legislation that would ease graduation requirements. News 8's Lamore Abrams explains how it would work. High school seniors who didn't have the chance to complete their credits to graduate this year would still be able to earn a diploma, despite the setbacks brought on by the pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic not only changed graduation ceremonies for the high school class of 2020, it left some seniors behind altogether. Of all things, um, your, your success in life is, is dependent on a high school diploma. A diploma denied to so many due to challenges associated with distance learning. So we want to make sure that, that we don't send them back, they don't have to go get a GED. San Diego Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez is thinking about students in underserved communities who perhaps had trouble accessing the internet from home or were forced into the working world when their parents were laid off. Her bill would give a school district the power to waive graduation requirements like English, math, foreign language, or performing arts. There may not have been the opportunity to finish that class. The legislation moving through its first Senate Education Committee with no opposition. But for some parents, it's raising a question. Is it a free ride? The California School Boards Association says not possible. It's not like we're having a diploma giveaway and we're just throwing up diplomas. Spokesman Troy Flint explains a student had to have been in good standing with a district in order to qualify. These are students who were two to three months away from graduation gotten their credits, they had good grades or grades that were sufficient to receive a diploma. Students who were on track to join the class of 2020 will retroactively receive their diplomas. Lawmakers say holding them harmless for what was out of their control. Well, this was unusual, unprecedented times, and as a result, let's go ahead and make sure that people are made whole. And it's not the first time the state has intervened to make exceptions for high schoolers. Back in 2018, California lawmakers passed a bill allowing deported dreamers to receive their diplomas before completing their studies. Now, as far as this bill, it still needs to head to both houses before going to the governor for a signature, and that needs to happen before the September 1st deadline.